How's it going? Before anything, they just dropped the teaser. We're gonna watch that first. Oh shit, this, dude, this guy is gonna kill. The ultimate weapon is team. Which, by the way, I love this game. I can't wait to buy it, but this is probably the dumbest tagline I've ever heard. Marvel 2 Worldwide Reveal this June 8th. This was already leaked like years ago. Uh -oh, not years ago, but you get the idea. We already knew this, but now this finally confirms it. We might also maybe see an extra tease at the state of play today, which is at for some reason at 11 p.m. my time. I was literally gonna stream it, and now I there's no chance. But on the other hand, this is some good news. Steam responded to the original tweet with the eyes emoji. We can finally trash probably one of the worst launches we have ever seen. Hopefully, now that Steam's coming back. Now let's be real here. They're probably gonna do the same thing as like EA and Ubisoft, where they're just gonna like bundle in their launcher with the game. But also, I mean, I'm taken. I'm taken. I'm I'm not gay. Who asked? My God. We're on cyber attack. I don't know why. I've never played cyber attack. I'm gonna be honest with you. Kind of my reasoning. Bethesda, before Xbox bought Bethesda, right? They. Oh shit, you have to carry the bomb like this? That just made things so much harder. Run. Slide cancel. Oh shit, drop shot. <laughs> Yeah, my reasoning is, Bethesda had their own launcher before Xbox bought them, but now Xbox bought them. I'm just saying, like, the year after they bought them, they shut down their own launcher and migrated all their games to Steam. I'm not saying the same thing is gonna happen and they're just preparing early, but... Uh, that might be it. That might maybe be it. Don't look at me like that. I forgot all my routes. Now, all the other dates. Here's the thing, right? I don't know about how I just died. They have not announced an alpha yet. Right, which is kind of interesting. Usually they announce an alpha by this by this point. You can revive people? Oh shit, I'm back. They haven't announced an alpha yet. Now Ralph, Ralph's Valve, you know, got to your leaker. He does say that we may see something in early August and it's probably gonna be a PlayStation exclusive. Like that's just be real here. Come back, come on. Don't stay down like this. Okay, first off, dude, this mode is so stressful. Go! Oh my god, you plant so quick, thank god. <laughs> All right, I forgot what I was talking about. Alpha might be coming in early August, but there's also like reasons to believe that there won't even be an alpha, which honestly would be better for me since I don't know if I can even get a PS5 by August. But the beta, it hasn't been revealed yet, but if everything's gonna go the same way as it always has, that's probably gonna be in like September or October. Why did I I'm letting the team down. Man, there's a lot of things happening today. We just got the teaser. Call of Duty League is back. The major three. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna see. I, I feel like Paris Legion is probably gonna win the grand finals. 5-0. It's not even gonna be close. It's gonna be a complete blowout. So we're gonna see the CDL back and... I think the PlayStation State of Play is today. I'll be at 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. British time for some godforsaken reason. Don't fuck with me. Oh. How could I have possibly noticed that? Oh, yeah, also, the pros got to playtest Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if I said that. I, f I forgot, to be honest. I don't know, I said it in the last video, but that wasn't a Modern Warfare 2 video, though, so I'm just gonna say it again. It's been confirmed that the pros have actually playtested the game, but they can't really say anything about it. Like, either they say praise, they say nothing, or they get fined. And I'm gonna be honest, 9% of them said a lot of nothing. Although, a couple of pros did say that was fun, and they had a good time, so who knows. The good thing about it, though, is that it I think they also confirmed that they're doing more playtests. Plus, they had like a long feedback session and considering the fact that at least what i've heard that infinity war knows that it's gonna be a two-year cycle so they're so they're probably gonna have to like account for like more of the community unlike they did with this game over 2019 where they basically just dedicated the entire thing to the casuals so both the casuals and the competitive players why did i do that <laughs> no way bro i just lost full it's over i completely forgot what i was talking about oh my god i'm not fit for this this guy got obsidian on the mp5 that's Average search player. Oh my god, I, I got the like and dislike buttons on Twitter. <laughs> Why? I'm, a, I'm the chosen one. This is going so slowly. Oh my god, please just do something. Okay, and nobody's gonna revive me. They all hate me. I've done nothing for the team but disappoint and plant a single time. He's gonna get caught off. Or not. The hell? No, he don't. Ooh. Hey, I just keep reviving people though. This guy just revived one guy and assumed that's it. He's also using stuns on his Uzi class instead of a stim. That's kind of... I, I respect that. They missed all his shots. Oh my god, I had so much faith in this man. 1v3.
This mode is so long. Why did I record this? Should I? Yeah, I'm doing it. That's terrible. <laughs> what? I'm gonna try my MP5 plus sniper class. Where is it? There it is. Hell yeah. Okay, this isn't a sniper, but uh, I call it that anyway. From where? Huh? Nah, he did not deserve that. It's crazy how we haven't gotten a release on Steam since... Oh, was it World War II? Which was like 2017, so it's been like five years since we last got a, a Call of Duty game on Steam. I missed that somehow. How did I miss that? That somehow killed him in one hit, even though I aimed at the leg. I'm not complaining. We just was already second end the video. Alright, thanks for watching.